Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at a Paula Young wig by the name of Evie. She's a lace front pixie, so stay tuned. Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Coco and it's a beautiful day in Coco's Hair Solutions. Today we're going to look at a Paula Young wig by the name of Evie. She's been around for a while and she's a lace front and she looks like she's got some style going there. So I wanted to check her out. So let's go ahead. I've got her box right here. We'll go ahead and get her out of that box and see what she's all about, okay? Okay, so she has a modified open cap. So we've got wefts going across the top right here behind this beautiful lace front. And the lace front is going to be from high temple to high temple. So it's not going to be very deep into the temple area, but it is going to go across the uh, arch. And then we have a closed lace up in the crown area that'll give us some permatease so we can have lift up there. We have open ear tabs with metal stays and fibers stitched on the underside on both the right and the left. We also have an extended nape. You'll see, is there, nope, there's no stays in that young lady, but she does have Velcro adjusters on the right and left. And look at the number of wefts, the rows of hair curtains that are placed in there. This girl's gonna have some coverage for those wefts, so we don't have to worry a lot about her, okay? And she is in the color Silvery Moon, so that gives us the bright white, silvery gray in the front, and it graduates to a salt and pepper at the nape. Very, very done, uh, very, very nice. Very, very done well, right? Okay, alrighty. So it looks like she's got some spikiness going on here. A little bit of curl throughout the back. So we'll just have to see what she does, okay? What I'm wearing right now is a Godiva Secret wig. Her name is Diana and she is a lace front as well. So I'm kind of feeling like I want to show my bangs off or show my hairline or my artificial hairline, whatever. Anyway, so let's go ahead and put on Evie. Okay, up at the hairline, look at that beautiful lace front. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, yes, very pretty. Alrighty, so let's see. We've got coverage on the, about average coverage on the sides. Got my um, ear tabs even, and she does cover my nape. She goes down to my nape fairly well. So the first thing you do after you adjust those, those ear tabs and make sure your hairline is up, is that you want to take these hair fibers that are along the edge of your face and bring them forward. Make sure that they're not tucked underneath your wig cap and that they're all coming forward. That helps to disguise your hairline. Now, this young lady has a little bit of length that she can be put over the ears or it can be put behind the ear. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a little bit in front and a little bit behind. That way I get a little bit better coverage. There we go, okay, and I believe, you know, aside from doing some styling, I think I'll go ahead and do a spin for you right now, okay? So right out of the box, this is what she looks like. I'll keep, try and keep my hands out of there. I, have, I, ha, I notice I have this habit of getting into, uh, putting my hands up there all the time. So I'm gonna work on that, okay? Alrighty. Yes, yeah, so this is Evie, another just workhorse for Paula Young. She is available in so many colors and it looks like she has a little bit of a bang already here. But you know, the one of the nice things about the hair or the lace front is you don't have to um, make sure you have your bangs hanging down. They, the wind can blow, you can have it visible at any point in time. Just a really nice option. Okay, let's go ahead and read about Evie, all right? She is available in an average size only. Um, she's 1.9 ounces. Um, her front is three and a half. The top is three. The crown is three and three quarters. 
and the upper back is three and three quarters. So that gets that to lay down a little bit more. And then it accentuates some of the spikiness right here on top. The nape is one and three quarters and the sides are two and a quarter. So she comes in 21 colors, okay? She's got a really nice little taper on the bang on this side that at the temple area, okay? And she's got the same over here. It tapers down towards the sideburn or the sideburn area, the uh, right at my temple, right above my cheekbones. Um, but she is pretty basic. She's got some uh, shorter layers up here on top. So you can lift her up. You can get some volume if you like having that height, a little more volume. And then of course, in any, any possibility, we can go ahead and sleek her back. Let's see, we can bring her forward a little bit. Let's see what we can do with her. Oh, she's looking kind of cute. A little bit more volume coming forward. She's got a little bit of a, a perky, perky couple of hairs there. A little bit, let's pull that up a little bit off the hairline. Take that up and off. Oh gosh, that's that's a this is a very nice pixie lace front. It's very nice and and she fits very very well. She doesn't want to squish or doesn't feel like I have to tug on her to to get her to stay put. But she feels like she does a decent job of uh, coverage. Okay, we've got a part on my left. Bring up some of those bangs and then comb over some and I kind of, I think she's just gonna have a lot of spiky heights here. Maybe a little bit more. Well, let's get her wet, okay? Okay, well, if this is your kind of look, she does it very well, doesn't she? <laughs> okay, let's see, I'm pull that down a little bit. That's where I want it to stay. So we can, we can have this bang come out and down a little bit. Have her, look at how well she spikes. Oh my goodness, this is really a really nice lace front. But let's take a look. And I did kind of like that little bit flatter, more casual look of having the top of her be a little less voluminous, okay? So if I part her a little bit, yeah, now see, she wants to really spike up here. So I think we're gonna need to have her be a little spiky. There's just no getting around that, but here again, she does it very well. I would say that this is a, a really nice, a nice coverage wig. Really good. And if you like the extra feature of the the um, lace front, oh my goodness. So parting her from one side to the next, from my left to my right, that works. We can do a little more of the left, or from my right to the left and then bring down a little bit. So what we do is we have a little bit of a open face, if you like, if you like that look. Um, here again, you can pull all of the bangs forward, I'm sure. Oh, that looks really nice. Bringing that, just combing it straight forward. And then, you know, if the wind blows, you look like it's you. <laughs> Oh gosh, this is a great pixie, isn't it? I'd seen her in the catalog and I was always passing her by. And now there's a couple other ones that I think I'm going to break down and get and review for you. But those girls are all tried and trues. They've been around for a long time. If you're wanting a, a good, reliable pixie that has decent coverage and decent thickness, then I think this might be your girl. But look at the way she holds that water, just a tiny bit of water, and it really accentuates. And this is the Silvery Moon color. It's an SF 5660. And how about a bandana headband? Just wrapped all the way around. 
Isn't that cute? And you can turn it around so that the bow is in the back and you have it flat on top. Very cute, isn't it? Well, I think that's gonna do it for this young lady. She is a great girl to spike up if you want. Still has some decent coverage all the way around the face and the neck. I don't think you'll be unhappy with her. And she has a lace front. So we're looking forward to seeing you next time in Coco's Hair Solutions. Bye-bye.